beginning, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. See, I have given you every herb that yields seed which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called to Adam, Where are you? I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree. And I ate. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go. and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. <laughs> In pain, you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife, and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you, saying you shall not eat of it, cursed is the ground for your sake. In toil you shall eat of it, all the days of your life, both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. And you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. 
for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. Look, and behold our reproach. The joy of our heart has ceased. Our dance has turned into mourning. The crown has fallen from our head. Woe to us, for we have sinned. Because of this, our heart is faint. Because of these things, our eyes grow dim. Because of Mount Zion, which is desolate, with foxes walking about on it, you, O oh Lord, remain forever. Your throne from generation to generation. Why do you forget us forever and forsake us for so long a time? Turn us back to you, O Lord, and we will be restored. Renew our days as of old, unless you have utterly rejected us and are very angry with us. shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel. 